this is Kim, and this is Franzi, Shane here, and Crystal. First, so for today, we will be talking about our personal experience about art and how we feel about <laughs> art and what we feel about it. Experience. Yeah. Yeah. So right now we have this little little, little container which consists um, a lot of questions. So yeah. So who wants to go first? What? <laughs> what would that be? <clears throat> What's your forte? Oh, oh, interesting question. So, in arts, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is your forte? My forte in art is um, maybe painting. Oh, maybe X X X. So, what type of painting do you usually usually um, like extra? Somehow, um, I am also into paintings, but yeah, I like filming more. Or oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's really fantastic. Yeah. Um, there, I also got into not really filming, but photography because oh. yeah, when I was in junior high, I did not have a camera, but I really wanted to do photography, so I, like I borrowed a camera from my classmates, and I did not. Fact that I was going to reach the regional level. Actually, the regional press conference was where I met Leia. Leia, our mm -hmm. classmate, also. Yeah. She was also. Actually, we were sitting together when we transferred fast and. <laughs> when we transferred fast and. Yeah, the type of art that I usually do are visual arts, not really into painting. Like, I do 3D arts. Like, I want this art to come. So, we. Yes. yes. Yeah. I I love sewing clothes. I love designing clothes, of course. I love doing mosaics, crafting. Like I love weaving. Oh. I love weaving. Uh, I also do topiaries, like the one the, the plants. Oh. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I don't usually do do the paintings or stuff. I want to do 3D visual arts. Wow. So for me, my part in arts is it's also painting, but I use watercolor because it's easy to play and um, it's mix. yeah, it's easy to blend your mix, your colors. Yeah, that's it. It's nice. So next, <coughs> me. You. Yeah. Me. Not or that. You yourself. <laughs> oh. In painting or any art forms. What color you mostly like to use? Well, <laughs> as I said a while ago, I'm not really into paintings, but yeah, the color I mostly really use is um, light colors. I love light colors, especially yellow. Yeah, when you blended it to orange and red, it was really cool. Like, um, yes, it's, like, it's like fire. Yeah. That's really good. So, how about you? Do you have any?
also I also <laughs> I also use like quite the same colors because as what I said, 3D art, which art. Actually, I use a lot of colors, mostly all of the colors, but I use mostly vibrant colors. Oh. I do not use a bit. I do not use too much of black. I do not use too much of that very dark brown and very dark violet. I do not really like those things on my pieces of art. <laughs> what is the most difficult thing that you encountered while doing art? A lot. Yeah. A lot. For me, the most difficult thing that I encountered, aside from not having all the materials that I need, I really get frustrated when I do not have those things that I really need. Like, when I do mosaic, I do not have the enough glue, I do not have enough materials, I do not have the one, but the very difficult thing that I encountered while doing art was, you know when you draw a portrait and you cannot even draw the eyebrows or like the eyes? <laughs> I yeah, that's do not true. know how that's to really draw true. two fair eyes, two fair eyebrows, I do not, that's the most difficult thing that I do. Oh, oh. it's really I true. For me, I think the most difficult thing that uh, I've, that I've ever encountered, especially with doing art, is when I was trying to mix some colors. That accidentally I split, uh, like I there's some dark colors flash my artwork. It's like it's so frustrating, and I don't know what to do. And if I mix it, it would go dark. It would go dirty, and oh, what a trash! Dark colors are not trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot. There's, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So, um, <laughs> difficult thing. Yeah, difficult thing. Maybe um, you see light colors. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like light colors. Um, if ever I'll do something with light colors. For me, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, for me, um, the most difficult thing that I encounter in doing art is when mixing the skin color. Yeah, I suck a skin color. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone does. No, no. I've seen a lot of I, um, art. I do not paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen a lot of artists in YouTube. It's so they're like it's easy to draw or paint um with the face of the face. <laughs> the portrait. Face. portrait. Yeah, portrait. a portrait. But also um when putting those tiny pieces into together like mosaic, it's really hard. Oh my god, it's it gets frustrating. Color scheme is um, a big challenge. Yeah. 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 I think if you have a good color scheme, like your artwork would be very good, very nice. And not not too your colors could match with the color scheme. So next, <laughs> here's the last one. Is the first thing you <laughs> encountered in art? You what is the first art. thing you encountered in art? You've learned. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've learned. Yes. What oh. is the first thing you've learned in art? <laughs> Did you have to write properly? <laughs> 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 look at that. Look at the high handwriting. It was really, I don't know, awful. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> so, for that question, I first learned art when I was um, grade one. I've learned to draw the exact shape of a chicken. <laughs> yes, 
chicken. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's. Chicken. What's wrong with chicken? <laughs> I, I don't chicken. know. That's but I hate I, I hate allergies. Uh, you have allergies? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, like that. But I feel, I feel like I'm outcast. <laughs> yeah, because it's okay. They they like to dance, to sing, and such. And then me. Mother does sing. I mean, yeah, they have talents that I do not have. But actually, my my father was the one who really brought me into arts because he's a very artistic person, and uh, I don't know. He was a very big part of my life when it comes to art, especially when it comes to art. Of course, I do not know, but he introduced me to art, especially the visual arts. Yeah, but the what's the question again? Sorry. How does art? Yeah, art. Art has really helped me a lot as a person, and it helps. Aside from it helps me, it helps um, the other people around me also. Like it helps me become more like more expressive because sometimes I cannot express my happiness to other people. I just put it in what I do. My I just put it in my craft, and also uh, arts has become like one of the things that have made me like go on in life because. Like sometimes I I fail myself in my studies, and when I get home, I see a lot of art materials. Then I start doing crafts, and then after that, I become a happy person. And people around me are also happy because of what I do. So art has become a way in which I would go on in life. Yeah. Art makes you forget. It's my energizer. Yeah. <laughs> art makes you forget. So, for watching this, okay. So to wrap it up, to wrap everything up. So arts is not only limited to painting. Yes. Unlike these three, <laughs> arts is also seen in um, photography. Coding, photography. Art is everywhere, actually, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so to those of you who do not really claim themselves as artists. I know each one of us are artists yeah. in their own way. You just did not discover what kind of art you really like. And if ever you are one of the artists who love to paint, like color schemes are very important. Yes, they are. <laughs> and the type of colors that you usually use are like to your own personal style. Also, it's okay if you use dark colors like yes. in light colors like them to and vibrant colors as well. It's really up to your own personal style or your own technique in art. And also, art is a very, very big part of your life. If you are an artist, even if you're not, art can be a very big part of your life because I don't know. It can lighten up. Yeah, it can it can lighten up your mood. It is where you express your emotions and many other stuff that you really want to express. So yeah, as what my father has told me before, art has no limits, and art there is nothing wrong with art actually. Yeah. Except if it is an exam. <laughs> Except if it is an exam, yeah, that's what that's what my father has told me. There's nothing wrong with art because art is your own personal style, and you created your own art, so there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So I think that would be all for this podcast. Yes. So thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.